Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. It's who is your first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Mexicala, Russia. Amari Lakak Akhmedov. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Marvin Vittori. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch oh, lift. Huge right hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, nice jab by Akhmedov. 
Oh, big left hand there. Nice deep and punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Here he is back in the clinch. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into a strike. The big guys drawing potential fight enders here in the early going. Nice kick landed there by Ahmed. Visibly limping here. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's oh, yeah. like that left hand. He's got hurt here. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Whiffs on the right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Out of range with that one. How about that shin? Nice combination there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Boy, Ty Plump. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss with this hook. He's doing a good job of shut out though. He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done. He's done. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. Oh! oh. Seconds now remain in the round. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Ohio with guillotine. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by potentially attempting a Von flu. Wow. Wow. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Big punch. Whoa! He's out! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marvin Vittori! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I didn't take it to the after party. Tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of the knockout like this and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.